Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Gwenji Koni. In today's recipe, I'm showing you how to make this delicious, easy vegetable rice. Before we begin, if you're new here, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And let's get started. You will need cooking oil, some garlic, some onions, some diced carrots, rice, green peas, black pepper and salt. In a cooking pot, add some vegetable oil, let it heat up before you add in the onions and the carrots together. Make sure to stir them so that they are coated well with the hot oil and they also cook as slow as possible for about 8 minutes until they are somehow cooked a little bit. This enables to make sure that your rice is as flavorful as possible. This is a very critical step. So after that, you can add in your garlic. If you're using ginger and turmeric, this is the point that you'll add them to. And stirring for about 30 seconds to make sure everything is fragrant and uh, it's cooked and not burned. Next up, you'll have to add in your washed rice. Remember to always wash your rice before you cook it. So at this point, you'll add the washed rice. You stir it together to at least dry out that water and for it to be able to get in and soak in the flavor of the onions and the carrots as well as toast for a while remember a detailed recipe is up on the blog it is detailed in the sense that you have the quantities of each ingredient that you need to use as you make this dish so be sure to check it out you can as well download it so next up you're going to season your rice with some sea salt or whatever salt that you regularly use as well as black pepper then you stir them in to combine allow me to plug you in with my two recipe books one is a breakfast recipe book with mostly gluten-free recipe while the other is a dinner stroke lunch recipe book each with a meal plan details on how to get either on the description box at this point you'll add in your water or vegetable stock or chicken stock or beef stock whatever liquid you have on hand and you want to use it use it at this point uh, make sure there are no rice grains sticking on the side so you stir everything together so that it is well combined. At this point you also taste for flavor. If it is not as flavored as you would want to, you can add in some salt or black pepper depending on your flavor profile. You then cover and on high heat let it boil. Once it has boiled like this, you then reduce your heat to low, cover and let it simmer till the rice is al dente at this point it's where you'll add in your vegetables that is the green peas the sweet corn if you're using or even french beans then you fluff so that everything is well combined for perfect cooking be gentle as you fluff the rice so that it does not break into pieces and get mushy mushy finally cover the pot let the rice cook fully while covered and once cooked, let it rest for about 10 minutes before serving. It's perfect with any main, whether beef or even chicken or whatever protein that you have on hand. So, so good. That is it guys. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe. Bye bye.